Greetings all, this is Mark Gunn, and I decided I wanted to do a making of video because I had people that were enjoying uh, my new video for A Pirate's Confession. It's from my album Pirates vs. Dragons, which is out on July 27th, and I'm trying to do a bunch of big promo building up to it, and I hope you will help me do just that. But this is about the creation of it because a, the idea came to me right before I uh, head, headed out to uh, Cornwall for my Celtic invasion, and I was trying to come up with some ideas to do some videos. And I'll tell you, I've been I've been really leery about doing videos, uh, making videos myself. I have iMovie, but um, but it, it's it's a little bit too much for my my head to. I feel like I'm gonna explode sometimes <laughs> trying to uh, come up with ideas. And good ideas, you know. I've done some some videos where I'm just playing music, but um, I, I've been reading, a, trying to read up, and trying to learn a little bit about how to how to make a good video. Period, and it's all about building a story, sort of like the album. One of the reasons why I did this album in the first place was because I wanted to build a story, something a little bit different. And uh, Pirates vs Dragons turned out to be just that. Um, it is a uh, very different. So. I was trying to come up with a good idea for this album, and one of the things I I, I did this al this particular song to me felt perfect for it. So we're going to I was doing my Celtic invasion of Cornwall, and I was thinking I was actually in the uh, getting ready to get on an airplane when it all kind of hit me. I was like, well, let's see, this would be perfect because. One of the, th the the lyrics, the world is full of wondrous things, pirates and airships and dragons a wing. Don't you forget when you travel tonight, the world needs a f the world is needs your fancy to keep spinning right. So it's all about fancy, all about something interesting, new, different that most of us don't see. And well, Cornwall seemed like a perfect uh, a way to explain that very idea. So um, that's where the whole idea for the for the uh, the video arose. And from there, I was, I, it started uh, actually in thinking the Birmingham airport. I was walking to, or maybe it was a, actually I think it was on the, it was in the Atlanta airport. I was walking to my flight and just grabbed my video camera and decided to film myself singing along uh, with, with the video, uh, with the music. Now, I didn't have any music at the time, but you'll probably tell by checking out my the sync on my voice but it was uh nevertheless i got to catch that that view of me talking or singing while i uh walked through the airport and i was singing out loud because i've heard that it when you're trying to sync something it you you look fake if you just whisper you know so i decided to go ahead and all, all out sync <clears throat> sync it uh, properly by actually singing through the as I walk through the airport. Fortunately, that is nothing new for me. Well, maybe the airport is, but singing out loud in public is not. So I, I had no problems doing that. Uh, but that that the ideas just came to me a little by little. I started looking for little items, little short videos that I could do because that's really what a, a music video is all about: short little clips, you know, two to three seconds, um, maybe sometimes longer, of something happening. Uh, and what happened? Well, it, some of it, a lot of the stuff I deleted as I went through, what I would do is I would like shoot something and leave it on there for later. And then later I came back like Stonehenge is a great example. Um, cause that, that was, you know, at the very end of our trip and I decided to pin that in. Same with uh, the, I didn't actually do anything with the, uh, the, uh, Chalice Well stuff until I had, we had like the first, I think two verses uh, recorded, and then I came back and plugged it in and re uh, realigned, resynced everything, trying to get everything to uh, work better. <clears throat> it was a it was a it was a big process, um, but uh, all the scenes, of course, are from the the trip. Uh, you know, we went to Tintagel Castle. We did went to the Saint Metriana's Church. If you see the guy with the 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 sticks or not metal. Things. He's basically dousing. Uh, there's a there's a stone out there, and uh, our tour guide or the girl working with our tour guide is big into the mystical aspect of of um, well life in general. And so she got the little dousers out and shows how if you walk in certain areas, the this the dousing sticks cross. Um, it, which is quite fascinating. I did actually get to try try that out. I don't know if I necessarily believe it, but 
who knows? They did cross at certain points, um, and there were similar points to others. Or is, is there something behind that or not? Who knows? Whatever the case, it was it was a fun little experiment, experiment and experience as well. Um, and they got some great pictures actually of of that Saint Saint Matriana's church because there's this there was this uh it was the graveyard all around and misty fogginess that was happening that day. Uh, a lot of rain in the first day, I guess. For the, it cleared up almost entirely after that, but uh, it was it was a really cool experience. So. Um, Get, got to do the little dousing, and then we got to see a uh, little bit of Tintagel before we headed off. And I totally forgot the name of this the stone circles that we went to uh, shortly after that. We did go to the old post office, and there was a beautiful pictures that I have in my uh, that I have um, on my Facebook page um, that you can check out. But there was a beautiful garden there and such. Uh, from there, you'll find some other stuff that we did. There's horse ride, horseback riding. Uh, there's a short scene from the International, the Falmouth International Sea Shanty Festival. It's where we spent our Sunday. And I, I just tr tried to capture something that would uh, capture some of that mood. I don't know if it was the best scene uh, ever uh, <laughs> for wondrous things, but it was fun. It was a, a great experience. Um, we had a, a great time at the festival. I saw lots, lots of music. Good start for one of my trips because I like, I like the music aspect. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We had the hor horseback riding. That was a, one of the cool things. I did get a, a few video shots. I had uh, one of the women who was helping us with the horses. She grabbed that camera for that long shot where we're all riding by and I'm singing, the world is full of wondrous things, which was uh, quite fun. And it turned out to be really great for a lot of the video. Um, but I had to also mix up the, the timing of, of it as well because I didn't want everything back to back. I didn't had some long scenes, didn't want it too close, whatnot. And uh, from there, there's the Eden Project. Eden Project, I think, made up for a, a lot a lot of the the uh, the pictures and such. That's the uh, the big uh, biodome that you saw, the greenhouses. And those were really cool to uh, to see. Uh, I love the biodomes. Um, and, and the flowers, absolutely gorgeous, which is why I put a whole bunch of uh, pictures in there. Number one, it worked. Number two, uh, it saved me a little bit of time to try to figure out what else to put in the video. <laughs> and the last, the last verse I actually turned into the the bulk of the story so a lot of it's the uh this the idea behind most of this is travel you know travel to see wondrous things um that was the idea behind most of the video but that last part is where i i added um specifically um i added a major part of the story which also fits the part of the story of pirates versus dragons you know protecting the dragons, keeping them safe, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, you have this whole, basically, journey all the way out to uh, what ends up again at Tintagel uh, Castle up on the, the hills there where I wave down a dragon who uh, who's, who's there and and to, to terrify me. and and uh, But actually, more than anything, to, to save the dragon because that's the message behind the entire <laughs> album and such. Um, save the dragons, save the dragons. So that was the the, uh, the the big grand finale, and of course I added, uh, you know, some scenes where I'm singing again at the end. And if you notice, all the the uh, when when you travel tonight, the world needs some fancy to keep spinning right. All those were scenes where I would have like traveling of some sort, um, of one type or another, and I, I was very very pleased the, how everything came together. Uh, obviously, now the dragon people are wondering where that dragon was. In fact, I got an, a a uh, mess an email today uh, from a woman who is a Celtic musician who lives in Tintagel, the town, and she says, uh, "I don't remember seeing that dragon." <laughs> so the uh, the dragon was created by a, a, an app called Effexio, E F E X I O, I think. And they had a whole bunch of great apps. I'm not sure how versatile it'll be in the future, but I do want to do more dragons, uh, have them pop up in other videos, because uh, it's awesome. <laughs> but it's a difficult thing to to uh, program and get them moving.
moving correctly, how I need them and such. So we'll see how much uh, that appears. But I had had this, I, that idea since the beginning and I actually downloaded the app right before it left because, and I'd heard about it somewhere, I forget where, but I had to have it. So I went and got that app and um, made sure I had a dragon to show up in the uh, final video. Obviously, this all leads up to SaveDragons.com, which is the website I've been slowly building, um, and I, hopefully it's actually loading by now. Uh, my site apparently has just been hacked again, uh, or they're trying to hack it, or something like that. So the website has been quite working, but you can go to SaveDragons.com, try to add a little bit, little cool things. Uh, there's a, like, a coloring page. I drew, drew this dragon, um, this dragon picture. 15 years ago, I think, and I put it up on Cafe Press, and uh, Jane Clower Brown had colored it for me, uh, and it was just a, but I took the uncolored version and put it up as a page that you can print and color in. So there you go. There's also a, a, a dragon's horoscope that you can check out. That was created by Amanda. Hey, cat, how's it going? Uh, oh, that was created by Amanda um, uh, Carmen, who's another awesome artist, and uh, she created that for, um, I, it was for, I was doing this, uh, she was helping me sell CDs at Dragon Con a couple years back, and I wanted to have a um, you know, special, do this what color is your dragon thing, and she ended up creating this, and it's gorgeous, I love it, and uh, you can go over to, um, go over to, uh, the uh, website, savedragons.com, and check out your, uh, see what color your dragon is. <laughs> it's kind of neat how it, how it works, so I would love uh, your thoughts and feedback. Go on over there, uh, savedragons.com. Now, the album again is out on July 27th. Uh, the ebook, if you're not familiar, I got an, an email actually um, a couple days ago uh, saying, okay, I like a couple of the songs on the a dragon on the album, but there's one I can't stand, The Ballad of Jenny Malloy. There are so many directions that you could have gone that would have honored the memory of real-life female pirates and their amazing lives, but instead the song uh, centers around dropping trowel in a contest and a woman too stupid to weasel her way out, which leads to her becoming the ship's slut. Wow, that was awful. Hoping better for better in the future. Yes, uh, one could look at this album and say that same thing. Uh, this album does not honor the female pirates that were out there. The um, uh, you know, so, yeah, and I apologize for that. Uh, more, I can't really say too much though because the album is a as uh, uh, Tony, I think uh, someone said it's a concept album. It's an album that was predated. First off, a lot of the stuff that I've been doing now, I, I had re Sheridan Rose write the lyrics. For this album five or six years ago i was still living in austin let's just say that so before two, 2008 2007 2008 she wrote these lyrics so that's eight or nine years ago <laughs> um, and uh <clears throat> the album originally everything was me coming from captain Bla the perspective of captain blackjack murphy but because i'm not really focusing on that character uh i decided i wanted to have it from the perspective of you know, me. So all the lyrics, and and then of course we created the story that went behind it, and there's a lot of the story that was started, but we kind of built it around, and then in, interjected some of the, the lyrics as part of that story. Now the whole story was written um, by Ree Sheridan Rose, she again did an awesome job, check out rewriter.com, R-I-E, writer, as in W-R-I-T-E-R.com, to find out more about her. But the whole album, uh, the, the lyrics were all written by her, and she also wrote the ebook. Um, I helped with the concepts mostly, and, and everything else was pretty much written by her. Uh, the ebook, which you can get over on uh, Amazon for 99 cents, it uh, will be free on July 27th. I want people, some people don't like the guy who wrote this um, message about uh, the Gen Ballad of Jenny Malloy. I, I don't know if he just didn't think about the fact that it's not just about pirates. I mean, this whole story is about, number one, air pirates, a slightly different caliber of pirates, and also pirates who are basically hunting dragons. Um, so it's a, it's a different, it's a completely different um, can of beans. Uh, you know, this is, this is something, um, a, like I said, it's a concept album. 
and uh, knowing the story, the backstory behind it, I think also helps with this, the album. Is it necessary? I hope not, because that makes uh, the album a little weaker. But uh, for individual songs, you're right. Yeah, it, it, it probably um, it doesn't help. I had uh, someone, uh, in the first thing they told me when they heard about the, uh, was it Come... Uh, the very first song, Leave Behind the Law and Lawyers, when you leave behind the land, for the law that rules the pirate is take whatever you can. Uh, when they were originally talking about that that song, um, little boys who listen when their mama said they should, it. Uh, someone said, well, this doesn't, what about the girls? What about the, there's, there's women who like to be pirates too, but that's not what the story's about. The story's about Captain Blackjack Murphy. It's about um, me being rescue trying to escape from Murphy it, that's that's what this story is ultimately about it's not about uh you know what is accurate in the uh the, the true female pirates it's not about that sort of stuff it's a it's a story um as much as anything i posted a new uh, ad in this week's irish Celtic music podcast where i talk about uh where I, it it talks about what the album is about, and unlike most albums, this has a full story behind it. It's like, I don't know about the wall, I was going to say Pink Floyd's The Wall, but what the hell is that story about? <laughs> so, um, but that's what it is. It, this is, this is a, a concept album, um, and I think it's it's done a nice job at doing being just that. Uh, I had a lot of fun creating it. Oh, that is uh, one of the things, where was I going with that? Um, when I was talking about the, the video... Um, did I just lose my train of thought? I think I did. Well, I don't remember. Any case, <laughs> um, anything else that I want to share with you? I am hoping to do some more music videos in the future. In fact, um, this Sunday, sometime soon, we're heading off to, back to England, a family trip. And while I'm, uh, in, I think we're going to Cambridge or somewhere, uh, while we're there, I'm hoping to do some, another video with, uh, my daughter Kenzie. I got some cool ideas. I don't know if I can make them happen. Mm, we'll see. <clears throat> uh, but I do want to do a music video there. Uh, and then the other one place I, I was thinking about doing one is at Gen Con. Again, the tough thing is making the time. You know, you have to make time to uh, conceptualize. Creating the story, that's what I was going with with the video. Uh, creating that story is, is the, the toughest part, um, I think, in creating the video is what is the story going to be about? And, and, and it's not just a, a random bunch of pictures. Is there an actual story behind it? And that's what I wanted to, I wanted to create moments that were fun and engaging. Uh, I think this video had a couple of those. I had the two that people always mentioned or my skipping and, and, uh, the dragon, of course. So, um, I'm hoping those will give it a lot more engagement. The, the video's done so far pretty well on, on, on YouTube, which, uh, I'm very pleased to see. Um, hopefully others uh, in the future, the other videos, I will find similar little hooks or things that were fun that will uh, get you talking and sharing and excited to share when when when, when it comes around. So, uh, If you have any questions, I would love to hear them. Um, you can also, I'm getting ready to put up a, a mailing list specifically for this album, which will include all the, the big promotions. I also have it for my uh, personal mailing mailing list, but this is going to be exclusive for the Save the Dragons Foundation. So, uh, uh, <laughs> when we're doing a little promos for this, because uh, July 27th, as I said, is the the release date. I want to do a bunch of build-up. I don't have enough time. Um, I'm hoping I can find people to help me out on some of this. We shall see. If you would like to help, you can well, send me a message. I would appreciate it. Uh, that would help a lot. Uh, but I'm going to do, trying to do some, uh, some more promotion. And I'm not entirely sure exactly what that means. That's the toughest part. That's where I can use some help brainstorming. I have a whole bunch of ideas on how to, uh, uh, make this. I've sit and sat down and created a ton of, yeah, see, look at all that. Yeah. Can you see that? Nope. Not really. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of, of things that are on the, that I, that I created. The question is whether I can pull it together and make all of them. Um, we shall see. Um, again, if you have any final questions or comments, you can, uh, you can either post them right now or you can, um, post them in the comments below when this video is over. So, um, 
nothing's coming up so i'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this making of video and uh i look forward to sharing more videos in the future they're going to be interesting fun i like them i like the ideas that i have if you have ideas for some of the videos some of the songs that i have um again stories stories and not necessarily that's the interesting thing about uh so years ago i'm gonna quick side note <laughs> years ago and i was, had a drama class one drama class it was uh my senior year of, of high school and the instructor asked us uh, the teacher asked us to sorry about that i did not turn off the uh phone stuff so the instructor asked us to perform a uh, uh, some a video perform something um, to some music. So I took a song by Jesus and Mary Chain, Nine Million Rainy Days. It's a very slow, moody thing, and I pretty much acted out the thing. I got a like a D. I don't know a C or D, maybe an F. I don't think it was an F, but it was a C or D. He was like, and and most of the class did too, because we did the same thing. We basically acted out what was said in the song and i've never <laughs> this has tortured me for years because i was like but i did it was good i liked what i was doing but uh the video but since then i've learned that making a good music video is not about you know acting out what's being said it's finding something else um sometimes it is but sometimes it's about creating a story a new story. Um, yeah, and then the, one of the, the video I want to do at Gen Con, which I'm definitely going to need help with, is um, you know, it's, hey ho to be a pirate. The wind in the rigging it sets my heart free, and the life of a pirate is all right by me. So I don't hang. You know, I have some pirates that I could hang out and do a video for with at uh, the Louisiana Renaissance Festival, and hopefully I will. But I wanted something that was different. So, and something that I could tell with what's available. That's the, that's the, the trick. Finding something that's available to be able to create a story. And the story, I, uh, and I don't have a, quite a story yet, but it, the idea is basically using gamers as a... Uh, an analogy for pirates um, so that's where it's going to begin so the story I'm gonna be telling is about gamers and they you know and wherever it says pirates you can think gamer so again that, that should hopefully create a visual image that will stick with you that was my goal again with this whole album uh, this whole song was creating a visual image that would stick with you so when you hear Pirate, uh, a pirate's confession, you will think of this video. When you hear Hey Ho to be a Pirate, you will think of gaming at gaming or gaming at, at Gen Con or whatever. That's the uh, ultimate goal. Um, and because that when you think about music videos, the ones that stick out in your head, uh, it's that's the same thing. It's always there's a little hook that that sticks with you and um, the story sticks with you. I Aha is the classic example for me, um, you know, where it gets pulled into a uh, comic book, which is kind of awesome. Um, I don't have that level, level of technology, but apparently I can create dragons, so hey. All right, if you enjoyed this, um, then please like it, share it, and I will, and again, post comments. And meantime, head on over to markgun.com to find out more about me and savedragons.com to uh, save the dragons. Talk to you later, Sancho.